Hi, this is Alec Bigu and today I'm going to present my SAS demo project. Um, where was the data file? Um, basically the two data sets have been retrieved from the NHS website. Um, what is the data? Basically um, they contain information about cancer treatment for patients within or after 31 days in the UK. Excluding Wolverhampton as they haven't provided any data. The first data set displays the number of statistics from June 2015 and the second one shows the um, information from January 2016. The national statistics stakeholders would be um, interested in this data in order to archive it or contain it for future references. What is not good in the data is that um, I didn't do the whole year because I, want, I wanted to to compare between two statistics which would have a space between a space of six months in between them. As we can see this is the first data set which um, contains the data from June 2015 and the second data set shows data from January 2016 these two being the, basically these two being the, um, the raw data before using SAS. Right, this is um, the importing data into SAS code. As we can see, this this is the University SAS edition, and they already have they are, they have different options. But if we if we right click on on the um, on the workbook, we can click import data, and the output would be this one here. And um, it shows everything clear and simple with all the, um, the labels and variables within the Excel spreadsheet. This is a better view of the code which opens the data itself. Basically, the proc import tells SAS what um, the name should be for the newly created SAS project. Next, we will write the code for cleansing data, which would be data project or old or new, since we have two data sets, and then rename the workbook to a new name, basically, and then run it. Um, I've used both um, both types of SAS, the university one and the one in, in the labs, and this would be the lab version. <coughs> In placing plants in the data, we can rename the labels within within the Excel spreadsheet and change the attributes and the format in which it can come out in the output. This is the code that I've used for cleansing the data. We can see um, we can choose um, the um, basically we can choose the columns that we want to have in the, in the output and this would be the cleansing output we, would, we only have a total column of one and this this shows that um, the code is basically working and next this is how we choose the audio graphics designer we go tools Choose all this graphic designer and then press OK. This would be the output graph. We can see um, the age and the percentage of the Excel spreadsheet. The advantages of using graphics with SAS is um, that um, the analyst can analyze it and present it better to the public or the stakeholders in which he works in which in which, which business he works for but didn't go well and basically um, I've had a few a couple of errors when I've um, 
import the data because the names of um, of the workbooks didn't quite match with what I've typed in SAS. What I would, uh, what I would do better next time is um, use more appropriate code for for the content of the Excel spreadsheet and maybe print it a lot better than this time. Thank you very much for your time.